going on, everybody? This is John Bain. I want to welcome you to The Colonist. Looking forward to having fun with you guys today like we do every day. Hoping that you find something you like. If you find something you like, don't forget to slam the like button. It does help me a lot. I really do appreciate it. And if you guys are new here, don't forget to subscribe. Always got something new coming out for you. Love for you to be here when it happens. And this is a game that I actually saw a while ago. And now it's, it's ready not to be a while ago. We can do a video on it because it looks like it's super fun. And we're gonna check it out. This is a kind of RTSC kind of strategy E kind of a big game. But uh, let's, let's just sit here talking about it. Let's just, let's just jump right into this thing because that's what we do. New game. After countless years traveling through space, you find a habitable planet. All right, let's play. By the middle of the 21st century, significant advancements have been made in the fields of robotics and artificial intelligence. Scientists have begun developing self-aware, printable robots capable of simulating human needs for sustenance and shelter. Faced with an indefinite future of servitude, one group of robots hatched a plan to create a new life for themselves. Realizing there would be no place on Earth they could enjoy freedom without persecution, they looked to the heavens. They commandeered the nearest rocket ship and flew out into the darkness of the solar system in search of a new home where they would be free to fulfill their dream to be human. <laughs> oh, that looks so cool. Nice job. <laughs> Tutorial at last, Terra Firma. We finally reached the habitable planet and we can set our wheels to the to ground. That was me with my mouse there. Okay, looks like he's unloading energy. Okay, and this is just colony ship. Okay. You are drone bot John Bain and are in charge of colony operations. The look, uh, this looks like a good island to test our anthrobotic systems. While your crew are unloading your few starting resources, here are some basics. Pan the camera using WASD. Rotate the camera using Q and E. Okay. You can also use the mouse to move around. Right click and drag about the world as well as move the mouse to the edge of the screen. Use mouse, mouse wheel to zoom and hold and drag to rotate. Awesome. Those are the controls I prefer. You have a few resources to get started. You can see how many of each resource you currently have in storage in the bottom of the screen. Click the flashing log icon to open the resource info panel. The resource panel tells you how many logs you currently have stored and how much that number has changed over the last day or week. Below that is a list of buildings where the resources are stored. So you currently have 16 logs stored in your colony spaceship. It's colony spaceship, 16 of them. It looks like we have a amount so that we can have maximum here. Uh, info logs are created by the lumber bot at Lumberjack Hut by chopping down trees. Logs are one of the most important resources as they require to construct, con construct any Stone Age buildings. Logs are also needed to make planks, planks, paper, and arrows. Watch out for the warnings uh, when your available trees run low. Look at the building forest trees to keep your log supplies going. Colony ship will keep producing your... Okay. Click the highlight tab to get to go to the logs overview panel. This section tells you how many logs you're producing and how many are in demand. This is a good panel to check whether you're producing some uh, producing enough of resources. Logs are an important construction material and your colony ship has a basic replicator that slowly produces logs to ensure you never completely run out. But you're going to need a lot more logs, so let's build a lumberjack hut. First, close the resource panel by right-clicking anywhere inside the panel or using the X button. Now, click the flashing build icon at the bottom of the screen. This is the construction panel. Uh, the arrows tell you which resources the buildings produces and which resources required to do so. It also shows you the construction materials and how long construction will take. So energy, any tree can be chopped down. Logs uh, chopped by the lumberjack hut. Okay, and these are different, this construction, okay, arrows, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so this is it here. You can place... You're in build mode, so place the lumberjack hut on the highlighted tiles near your colony ship. Okay. Good. 
Your lumberjack hut uh, lumberjack hut needs logs for it to be constructed, though. You can see they're on the outstanding demand for logs. Okay. By the, by the red icons on the bottom left of the screen, too. Okay, okay. Click on the flashing logs icon on the lumberjack hut building. Okay. And the panel tells you tells you the construction progress and how many resources are needed. The red circle on the log icon means that this lumberjack hut immediately needs logs for construction of the building. You have some logs the colony ship, but there is no route to your lumberjack hut yet as indicated by the yellow alert icon. Okay, so that means we need to have everything connected. Neat! Resources move around your colony using roads. Let's build one. Select the roads button mode in the bottom right of the screen. So click here. And there's a roads button now. And road. Roads can only be started from existing road posts. Click on the blue road post outside the colony ship and then click on the next highlighted tile. So that does a straight line. Got it. Roads can be between four and six tiles long. Build another road to connect your lumberjack hut. Okay, so... We can do from here to here. There we go. We have roads. Uh, great. Each road has a carry bot who moves uh, resources between the posts at uh, either end of the road, depending on where the resources need to go. Ah, okay. Your carry bots can now transport logs along the roads and road posts outside the lumberjack hut to start. Oops, okay. Lumberjack has complete. Now the colony ship will print a lumber bot and they will need head to the new building. I guess that's the lumber bot there. The lumber bot has arrived and is headed off to work. You may have noticed that other resources uh, resource was delivered to the Lumberjack Hut. Click on the new Lumberjack Hut building to find out more. The production panel on the building tells you the needs, status, and current output of building. Some bots, such as lumber bots, need extra power to carry out their job. So we're going to need to use the power for it, okay? Extra power is provided by the energy resource. This panel tells you that the lumber bot needs one level one energy resource per day to keep working. Colony generates a small amount of energy level one to get started, but your colony will soon require lots more. You can generate additional energy level one at residences. So next, let's build your first residence. Okay. I'm guessing I'll go here. Oh, there we go. This panel now tells you how much energy L1 this residence can generate and which resources are needed to do so. The level one residence turns out water, turns out water and one food, turns one water and one food resource into and one energy. Okay. You can rotate a building when you're placing it. Rotate using R and match the residence to the highlighted tiles. Again, you need to connect the building using the road network, allowing resources to reach a building is going to be connected by any point along a road. Build a road on the highlighted. Okay, gotcha. We got this. We got this. Nice. You can increase the and decrease uh, game speed in the top right of the screen, or by using hotkeys. Change game speed buttons but in the top right of the screen. Change game speed. Okay, so we're going to do this. We did that. We're going to move it back. Change game speed using Z and X. Pause and unpause using space. Very nice. Oh, I love I love games that use like the the ZX is new, which is nice. But uh, I love space bar being pause. So okay, cool. Good. Now let's watch the construction uh, construction resources reach the residence. Residence is finished, but as the icon above the building shows, the house bot doesn't have the required resources yet to begin production of L one energy L one. Okay, we're going to click on it to see. To produce energy L1, the first resource the residence needs is water. Build a well at the highlighted tile. Okay. Well, right there. There we go. And where's the highlight tile? Right there. And we need to do another road. Buildings also don't need to be placed directly on roads. They can be connected to a road by a path. Paths are secondary routes that allow building stack bot to reach a road post. This allows you to be more flexible with your building and road placement. Okay. Select the path. Okay, so we're going to build a path. And here is on this one. There it goes. Right there. Very nice. Excellent. Your well will soon be built and the water will be supplied to the residents. The other residents' need was focus. Uh, was food. <laughs> this means fish or meat. We're near the shore and have several jumping fish tiles available, which can be farmed for by a fishing hut. Okay, so I'm guessing we need to do a fishing hut then. Okay, there's the jumping fish right there. I see him. Oh, nice. Nice. 
Uh, so yeah, this is that. So we have fishing hut here. Um, oh, we can flip. Nice. F flip and R to rotate fishing. Hut. Wow. Nice. Then go along fishing hut to the road network and using paths. They want me to use a path to do this. Okay. There we go. Let's wait for the construction to finish. <laughs> All right, the fisher bot is now heading off the fish and will soon have some fish for your residence. You have some stone deposits just outside your territory on the other side of the island. Click on it now. All right. Stone is used to build more advanced buildings. You can mine this stone deposit with a surface mine, but only one, only once the deposit is inside your territory. Okay. First, you need to build a watchtower near the stone deposit to expand your borders. You can choose where to build the watchtower yourself, but you'll need to place it near the border so you can access the stone deposit. Okay, so when you go to build, uh, is this it here? Watchtower. Okay. Oh, that's pretty cool. Okay, let's go like right here. And there we go. Looks good. Now you need to connect your watchtower to the network with roads and paths. You can quick select different build modes by like pressing the hotkeys one through nine. And you also remove buildings, no roads, and paths. You'd be using the destroy tool in the bottom right. Be careful what you move though, as it can disrupt your colony. Okay, so one is road. Oh, nice. Oh, so nice. So here, then. Here. Here, and then we'll do a path from you to you. Bam! Uh, great watchtower. Take a bit longer to build, though. While your watchtower is being built, let's construct a forest tree to plant some more trees. Okay. Um, is it here? That's residences. Here we go. Fishing hut where? Lumber hut forestry. Okay. Does it tell me where I need to put it? No, it doesn't. Um, I feel like it needs to be somewhere like over here. Like, I don't know. Let's try. Let's try right, right on the edge of the road here, and leave a space for a road to go by if I need to do something. Just go by it. That way, it's connected. All right, cool. We're waiting for these to get built. Okay, you control where the tree bot plants their trees. Follow the alert icon on the forestry building and allocate some tiles for planting. Okay, so you, whoops. What do you, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, oh, oh, that's super cool. Nice job, guys. Nice job. I like that. Let's just do what we got already and just keep them going. Plus a little bit more. And that's okay. That's oh, that's within my my given area. Okay. So with a watchtower build, doing well, well done. This means you won't run out of trees for lumber bots to create logs out of. Now let's wait for the watchtower to finish construction. Remember, you can change the game speed with Z and X. Okay, times four speed. There we go. We're done. All right. No, not yet. Not yet. It's almost there. There we go. Nice. Great, your territory is expanded and now includes the stone deposit. Go ahead and build a surface mine to mine the stone deposit and start producing stone. Okay. That's an inventory right there. Bam. Right here, I'm assuming. Surface mine. Now that I look at it, I should have probably done something different, but I didn't. So we'll just go like this. Right. And do one, a two, we'll do a path. There we go. Oops. Now that's ready to go. And we can speed it up by pressing X a few times.
Nice. Excellent. Okay, slow it back down. Nice. Your miner bot will now uh, head off and begin harvesting stone. You may have noticed that the service mine also requires one energy to function. Click on energy one panel in the bottom left to check the colony's energy low L1 needs. So this is, okay, little lightning bolt. So the demand is not greater than the supply of energy. This means eventually the lumberjack hut and the service mine will be able to work at 100% efficiency. Build two more residences to increase the supply of energy. Another tip, you can control and select the building to two put. God dang, this is amazing. All right, so here's a here's the residence, okay. Let's put another one here. And then maybe one here. Can we flip it? Yes, we can. Uh, I don't. Oh, we'll do it. We'll do it. Okay, there's there's two right there. <laughs> All right. So now we have it now in the capacity to produce more energy. One build more residents mean more house spot needs. So demand for water and food has increased. Build another fishing hut on the coast. Increase your food production. Okay. So we can press Control and click on that. And there we go. Uh, if I put it like right here. And they get another path up to it. Maybe do a new path in front of it. There we go. Okay, speed up. Okay, cool. That's done. Excellent. You have a functioning colony and your skills look promising. When you're ready, it's time to move on somewhere with a bit more space. Well, guys, I'm going to say this is the time we got for today. Let me know in the comments down below what you think. And, uh, you know, I'm, pretty, I really, I'm having fun on this, so I'm going to do a couple more episodes of it regardless. But let me know what you think down below. And I appreciate you guys watching. So, anyway, as always, thank you so very much. And you guys have a good night.